Hey, it's Anne. Let's practice remaking this pie chart. This is a made up pie chart, but it's based on a number of real life examples and similar projects. I work with a lot of workforce development programs that provide career coaching, and they usually have some type of chart like this, where they're showing the percentage of participants who work in each industry. So for example, we've got 6% of their career coaching participants working in education and 9% in construction and so on. If you're familiar with my pie chart guidelines, you know that this cannot stay in a pie chart for a couple of reasons. The first one is that it's poorly formatted. It's 3D and there are those little connecting lines, the little leader lines, the gray lines connecting the words to the slices, which just makes it look more cluttered than it needs to. The major reason this cannot stay in a pie chart though is that there are too many slices. There are what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven slices if I counted correctly. My limit for pie charts is two maybe three three slices max really two is even better so we've got to at least reduce the number of slices let's look at a few different makeovers and then i want you to vote on which makeover is your favorite so we'll call the original uh we'll call the original you know option a although it's not really an option so let's go right into some more feasible options here is a little bit better option we'll call this one option b we're simply going to transform the 3D pie chart into a 2D pie chart, and I've removed those connecting lines, so it's slightly less cluttered. If this is the only change you make after watching this video, great. Pat yourself on the back. If your documents are full of 3D pie charts, uh, you know, then if you simply switch to a 2D pie chart, that's a huge step forward, and congratulate yourself, and don't worry too much. Okay, but we can get even better. I've got a couple other ideas to show you. So let's look at option C. Option C would still be a pie chart, but it's a two slice pie chart. Let's pretend that you know your audience is particularly interested in retail. You could just combine or collapse all of the other categories and turn your seven slice pie into a two slice pie. You could also make a two slice donut chart or a two slice square pie or a two slice waffle chart. Anything around the you know two slice limit is fair games here. Okay, here is option D. Option D would be an icon array where you focus on retail. You know, you're still just zooming in on one of the industries over the other, depending on what your audience might be interested in. And you're focusing on the one in five people who work in retail with a simple dark light contrast in the shapes. I got very excited that I got to use the shopping cart icon uh, for the first time making this slide for you. Not every project lends itself well to icons, but this one did, so I took advantage of that. Okay, here is option E. Option E would be a good old fashioned bar chart. I'm gonna show you a couple versions of this bar chart. So this is the kind of regular as is traditional approach where you've got the traditional title that states the topic, but not the takeaway message. And all of the bars are the same color. So nothing in particular really stands out. What did I say, is this option E? I think we're on E. Let me show you option F. Option F would be the storytelling version of that same bar chart. Now we've got the takeaway message placed squarely in the title, one in five participants worked in retail. And we're also using the dark light contrast to draw your reader's eyes right to the retail section, that magical 20% that we think they might care about. Okay, and here's the final option. I don't even remember what letter or number we're on, but it is a bar chart with icons where I've added icons to healthcare and retail and the paper clip for administrative support. These aren't perfect icons, but I still think they're leaps and bounds better than you know the, the previous one here of not using icons. There's some research showing that icons can make our graphs more memorable. So I use them whenever I can. Again, not every topic lends itself well to icons. This one did, I got really excited when it did. So, you know, give them a try when you can uh, put them to use when you're able to okay I would like you to comment on this video let me know which makeover was your favorite do you like the 2d pie do you like the icon array do you like the regular old bar chart or the storytelling bar chart or this one which is my favorite the storytelling bar chart with icons which I think gets the message across and has also uh, got a good chance of being remembered all right vote comment let me know thank you